Don't be embarrassed. It's a lot of people don't know what they're doing when they get up there and do their mathematics. We're going to introduce you today to Fort Bend Tutoring, honey. Personalized math tutoring is the solution. And now here's Lyra Whittington's, or as we like to call him, Dr. Whit. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. All right, so let's look at the lesson for today. We'll be talking about multiplying integers, integers. All right, so let's check it out, all right? So first off, ladies and gentlemen, we have the rules that we'll be using for this lesson. All right, so let's go over them, shall we? A positive times a positive gives you a positive result. A negative times a negative gives you a positive result. A positive times a negative is a negative result. And a negative times a positive is a negative result. In other words, like signs when multiplying together will give you a positive result. And unlike signs will give you a negative result when you are multiplying two values or two terms for that matter. All right. In addition to that, check out these rules. An even number of negative signs when multiplying will always give you a positive result. Mm -hmm. Every single time. An odd number of negative signs when multiplying values will always give you a negative result. Every single time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the lesson, shall we? So remember that we have a positive times a positive equals to a positive, a negative times a negative equals to a positive, a positive times a negative equals to a negative, and a negative times a positive equals to a negative. Let's look at some problems, okay? So in problem number one, we have the following. We have a negative two times three. Focus on the sign first. The sign is just as important as the number as far as the answer is concerned. And always write your answer from left to right. That being said, a negative times a positive is always a negative answer. So therefore, I'm gonna write down my negative sign first. That's right, I'm not even concerned about the numbers right now. I wanna make sure that my sign is correct first. So a negative times a positive gives me a negative answer. Then I can show off that I know that 2 times 3 is, you got it, 6. Okay, so that means that my answer here is negative 6. Done and done. So notice how I try to compartmentalize the process. I worry about the sign first, then I worry about multiplying the numbers second. All right, so that's the way I approach every single problem. All right, let's check out the next one. Problem number two, I have four times negative five. Notice the different ways that I'm showing you multiplication. So multiplication can be shown in various ways. So keep that in mind as I go through the different problems that you'll see today. So in this problem, I have four times negative five and a positive times a negative is always a negative, exactly. So anytime the signs are different when you're dealing with two values, that means you're gonna end up with a negative result. Also remember that an odd number of negative signs is negative, so this is one negative sign and one is an odd number, so therefore the answer will be negative. So I'm gonna write down my negative sign first. Then multiplying four times five, you'll get 20. So the final result is negative 20. Once again, write down your sign first, then go with the number. That's the answer for number two. Let's move on to number three. Problem number three, you have a positive 12 times a negative two. A positive times a negative is a negative. So I'll be writing down my negative sign. And 12 times two is always 24. So the answer here is negative 24, done and done. Sign first, then the number. Let's continue. In problem number four, you have negative three times negative six. A negative times a negative is a positive answer. Also recall that anytime you have an even number of negative signs, the answer will always be positive. So I have one, two negative signs. So therefore the end result is gonna always be positive in that scenario. Also, we stated that a negative times a negative will always give you a positive. So either way you look at it, you're gonna get a positive answer. So once again, we focused on the sign first. So now that I have my sign, I know it's positive. We're gonna multiply three times six to get 18. And that's the answer. All right, negative times a negative is a positive. Three times six is always 18. Moving on to the next problem. That was problem number four. Here's problem number five. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime you have a negative sign on the outside of a set of parentheses, you can assume that that negative sign is the same as negative one. 
Or in other words, it means the same thing. So negative 1 times negative 3, it could be written this way. And bottom line, the signs are going to be what we focus on first. So a negative times a negative is a positive, And 1 times 3 is always 3. So your answer here is positive 3. And that's it. So anytime you have a negative, just a negative, on the outside of a set of parentheses, Remember, that's the same thing as negative 1 multiplying on whatever quantity you find inside. So here, I end up with negative 1 times negative 3. A negative times a negative is a positive, And 1 times 3 is always 3. And that's the answer. That's it. Moving on to problem number 6. OK, notice we have more than two terms now. Here I have three values. I have 20, negative 2, and negative 1, and they're all multiplying on one another. Remember, we're going to focus on the sign first, so that way we can focus on the individual parts that's going to make up our answer. First of all, I notice that I have only two negative signs. So when I have an even number of negative signs, I know the answer will always be what? That's right. It's going to be positive. So no matter what, ladies and gentlemen, the answer is going to be positive, so I know my sign. I know that 20 times 2 is 40, and 40 times 1 is 40 as well, so the answer here is going to be 40. Once again, I already verified that the result would be positive at the beginning, so I knew my sign was going to be positive. So that's the answer, positive 40. All right, let's move on. Problem number seven, I have one, two, three negative signs, which means that my answer has to be negative. It has to be negative. So I end up with a negative result. And remember that this negative sign in front it actually means negative one. So I could write it as negative one times negative three times negative five, and that'll be another representation of this problem. Either way, we still have one, two, three negative signs, so the answer will be negative. And one times three is three, and three times five gives me 15. So once again, we focused on the sign first. We verified what the sign of our answer will be, and then we just multiplied the numbers after the fact. Okay? That's number seven. Next problem. Here we have number eight. We have one, two, three, four values that are all multiplying together. They all are negative, which means that we have one, two, three, four negative signs. If I have four negative signs, what sign will my answer be? Hmm? Exactly. It will be positive. It has to be positive because you have an even number of negative signs. So a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative is going to be a positive result. So what I'm going to do now is just focus on multiplying these numbers together. And you know what? I'm going to show you exactly what I would do here. Since you have the commutative property of multiplication, it doesn't matter the order that you multiply these values in. So I'm going to choose to multiply it this way. I'm going to have 1 times 2, which is 2. 3 times 4 gives me 12 and then multiplying 12 times 2, I'll end up with the result that's 24. And I know that answer has to be positive because we had an even number of negative signs from the beginning. Anytime you have an even number of negative signs, and this time we had four negative signs, I knew the result had to be positive. An even number of negative signs will always be positive when you're multiplying. All right, that's problem number eight. Let's check out the next one. In problem number nine, I have one, two, three, four terms. However, only one of these terms is negative. An odd number of negative signs will always generate a negative result. So one is an odd number. So therefore, my answer has to be negative. So I know I'm going to end up with a negative result here. However, I'm going to put that negative down here because I'm going to use the same procedure that I did in the previous problem. I'm going to end up multiplying the first two numbers together, two times three, which is six. And then I'm going to multiply 10 times 2, which is going to be 20. And then finally, multiplying 6 times 20 together, I'm going to end up with 120. And notice how I had my negative sign waiting on me. So that ensured that I wouldn't forget that the answer was negative. So the result of this is negative 120, and that's the answer. Once again, we had a negative result because we had an odd number of negative signs. All right, and that does it there. Let's go ahead and continue on to the next problem. All right, 
Finally, we have number 10, our last problem, ladies and gentlemen. Here I have a negative times a positive. And once again, anytime you have an odd number of negative signs or when you're multiplying two values and one of them is negative, in other words, a negative times a positive will always give you a negative result. So I'm writing down my negative sign. So write down the sign first and then worry about the numbers. Here, 5 times 2 is 10. So that guarantees that my answer is correct because I end up with negative 10 as my result and that's correct. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video on multiplying integers helped you out. Once again, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. Thanks a lot. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Peace. We appreciate your time. Don't you want to learn mathematics the correct way? You need a foundation. Do not just be guessing at your numbers. Contact us today. Look us up on your Facebook at Fort Bend Tutoring. Learn it well, honey.